I gotta testify, come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. Gotta testify, come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. Sorry if I'm like shaking my hand. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Mm. Okay, there we go. So you guys aren't on a tripod, so it is what it is. Ah, uh, my skin. Like why? I've been scratching my face in my sleep. Either way, I am. I just took communion virtually at home. Um, we're going to the Bulls game today. Um, within a matter of hours, actually, we have to be there at like one. Um, honestly, I'm having a lot of anxiety. I've had anxiety this entire week because we're about to like begin the real beginning of the end. Technically, like this is a time now where everyone's going to start immortalizing my brother. And for me, that just like it's great. Like it's giving exactly what he wanted to give. Um, my brother always went to, wanted to be remembered and he will be. Um, however, it just, for me, it's like, it's the absence of him, you know? Like, we're immortalizing him because he's gone. And yeah, I, I can't process that around a bunch of humans today. So I was like, either I'm gonna go to the game and not go to church or go to church and not go to the game either way like i can't i can't even do little things like take communion with a bunch of people around because like i don't want to be asked how am i doing today like i, I don't want that question <laughs> i don't want that question how am i doing today how am i been doing since christmas like not good so yeah i'm just gonna start getting ready now uh, Bay is on his way, and we're gonna go together. This is just moisturizer, y'all, uh, because it's relatively chilly outside. Most my entire fit is technically gonna be my brother's, from the shoes to the coat uh, to the bracelet I'm gonna put on. That's his. <sighs> yeah. So. Either way, I just want to give you guys a heads up. That's the starting of the vlog. I'll probably put like, we went to the Bulls game. <laughs> cause we, cause we are, but like, <sighs> I don't know. At this moment in time, like everything just feels meaningless. It's felt like that for a while, but now it's really starting to feel like that. Either way, I'm going to work out my depression in doing my makeup, so yeah. Rap to you real quick. I wanna enjoy the luxury of like not knowing each other for real. had to run the entire dag on place to get here but <laughs> we're here we made it right now. 
overwhelming, okay? Uh, but at the halftime show, that's when they're gonna honor John because that's when they honored him the first time, literally a year ago today. So, um, emotional a bit, overwhelmed a lot. Um, proud of him always. Um, we just saw Steph Curry, like, ah, I knew Mr. Curry. And, um, even though he's not for the Bulls, but like, I haven't rooted for the Bulls since Michael Jordan played. Shady, I know. Either way. <laughs> um, see you guys later.
Richards and the innovatively trained woman in Chicago to be more equitable and just. This afternoon, we're proud to recognize and celebrate the Bulls 2022-23 and LK Legacy Honorees. The Honoree Program has recognized community leaders in Chicago for three years. This past winter, we sadly lost one of our recent honorees, Sean Deal. John had a profound impact on our community and on many of this year's honorees directly. If our world is truly going to change, it's because of people like John. Here with us this afternoon are John's mother and father, Aaron and Joseph Beal, and most friend and past Bulls LK Legacy honoree, Jordan Campbell. Presenting a special photo to Karen, Joseph, and Jordan, our Bulls Community Relations Director, Erica Bauer, and Bulls Community Partner, Kyle Birch. The LK Honoree Program has recognized community leaders in Chicago for three years. This past winter, we sadly lost one of our recent honorees, John Veal. John had a profound impact on our community and on many of this year's honorees directly. If our world is truly going to change, it's because of people like John. Here with us this afternoon are John's mother and father, Karen and Joseph Veal, and close friend and past Bulls MLK Legacy honoree, Jordan Campbell. Presenting a special photo to Karen, Joseph, and Jordan, our Bulls Community Relations Director, Erica Bauer, and Bulls Community Partner, Kyle Birch. Let's hear it one more time for the Bulls 2022-23 MLK Legacy Honorees. Thank you for your amazing work throughout our community. is literally on one percent but <laughs> we won <laughs> real like odd i mean the bulls beating the warriors what but aren't they stars <laughs> but we won uh, <laughs> not six different lines to get out of this place there ain't no outlet in chicago tisk tisk